Hey guys, Eileen here. Um, just wanted to share um, a couple new layouts using Bow Bunny. Um, this is all Bow Bunny using the new travel collection souvenir, and I really like this one. It's so fun. Um, it's got all these like awesome vintage images. Um, so this is a picture of me in Egypt a few years ago, and it worked out because this is um, a map of Africa, you know, with Egypt up here. And then over here, I think it said like England right there or something. So I used one of the little stickers from the sticker sheet and I just, um, it kind of blends in so it doesn't really stand out. But if you look closely, it just says adventure because um, I didn't want to draw attention to, to that. And it says um, the Nile River right there. And um, this is also from the sticker sheet. It's, um, this is a sticker. Um, this is from the buttons, I think the little banners and another oh no I got that out from the paper actually um, this right here is actually from the 12 by 12 sticker sheet as well and I just took it off and um, stuck it on here and it, it worked out um, I think I had to cut it in a couple places you can't really see it but I did have to cut it to make it easier to um, add since it's so big and thin um, these are the chipboard embellishments and so is this this is all chipboard and then I put the new um, bling in here and some misting with the new sprays and again the same thing here and this is the dimensional chipboard and then I made another layout to kind of go hand in hand with it um, and I used the same techniques here this one is of my husband in Egypt so um, I cut that out from one of the sheets. It has the whole alphabet there. And then um, it's the little chipboard embellishments and the buttons. And um, flowers and buttons from that and one of the Bow Bunny flowers. And then I added these here from the dimensional um, chipboard. And this is also from the dimensional chipboard and it was perfect because it says, kind of blends into the background, but it says you are here and it points to Egypt. And um, I also did the misting here with the bling like I did on my own page. So that way they're kind of, um, you know, matching since, I, since they're about the same topic. So that's that one. Um, and these are from some of the older um, bling sheets that they had. Um, now they have double dot. Um, crystals but before they had ones that matched each collection now they just have double dot ones that come in all different colors to match any collection so um, and they had they used to have these lines that came with it so and then I also made a notebook an altered notebook for Bow Bunny this is just a mead just a plain mead notebook and I like the mead ones because actually um, the the cardboard's really thick on them so you can do more stuff with them so i covered it with gesso and then covered it with um paper from bow bunny and then i added that one says that's life the little bird saying that and um i used the enchanted garden collection and then this is actually from madeline the new the brand new madeline collection and then this is from um a different collection as well these little gears and um, I also use their stencils and um, their glitter paste and then I added it the glitter paste on top of the stencils and then I pulled them off so you get these um, glittered shapes so um, so um, these these are the circles and then I added a little bit of bling over here and then these are the script writing so you can see it actually comes out really cool and it's got a lot of dimension. It's very glittery. So it's kind of like modeling paste, but it's got, um, but it's clear and it's glittered. So you just see the glitter, but it definitely, you know, it does have dimension to it. And then I misted the whole thing with the new mists and used a stencil, a doily stencil here and a doily stencil here when I was misting and then this is from the baby bump collection it's washi tape from the baby bump collection so um, you know it's nice and flexible still 
And this is just just so that I then sand it down a little bit to get a more raggedy ad edge. So it's all very um, glittery. And I think it makes for a nice journal. And I like how like, um, and I sanded the edges. I like just, you know, if you want like a nice journal, you don't have to pay a lot of money for it. You can get a notebook for a dollar and then decorate it to your preference so you get exactly what you would want in a journal. So I think it's really cool. And then also I wanted to share some new stuff that I got recently. Got this at Michael's for 50% off. I wanted to finally try one of these because I always just use scissors. So I got that. I got these also for, I don't know, 40 or 50% off. I already used one. It was kind of a grayish color. It was like a gray one. They're really cute. This I used my 50% off on because it was like $16 or something. It's eight ounces of crackle paste. So I guess once it dries, it's, it crackles, hopefully. That's the plan. Um, found these on clearance. These are little facet cut gems that, um, they're kind of opaque. They're not crystal clear or anything, so they're cute for 99 cents. And then this was on clearance as well. It's 30 pieces of little metal, um, clock handles of all different shapes and sizes and colors. This was on clearance too for a dollar ninety nine. Just like little flat embellishments that you can um, do various things with, like Mod Podge, or just use as you know embellishments. Found a bunch of these on sale for like fifty percent off. So I think they were either a dollar or dollar fifty to begin with. Well, I know this I got for fifty cents, and this was fifty cents. These are all metal from Michaels. Um, these are really nice and big and they're very heavy actually. So they might work best in a shadow box or something. Cause if you just adhere it to a mini album, they, they're very heavy. They could just fall off, but they look really nice. And of course you can paint over them or whatever if you're not into the color. So I just thought these were really nice for 50 cents and this for 50 cents. I thought that was a really awesome deal. And um, lastly, or no wait, not lastly, found these um, cloth brads from Martha Stewart at TJ Maxx for a dollar. It would be nice for Valentine's Day. And then um, at Target, they had all the smash stuff 50% off. So I got these little inserts. Um, I got the last three. There were only three left, so I went ahead and got them because I do have a smash book. Um, I actually have two of them. So, um, And then there are four sheets per package. Um, so, um, yeah, so that was just a little bit of shopping that I did. And then I also recently did some online shopping too. So I'll share those packages when they come in. And then I'm also going to be getting... A bow bunny package soon with um with their new three new releases for fall and they are so gorgeous and their new winter collection is amazing um actually if you go to their blog right now they're i don't know if they're still doing giveaways or whatever but um you know you can always check out because they're always doing some kind of giveaway so um, I can't wait to get that package so anyways thanks for watching guys I'll see you soon I have lots of other stuff I've been scrapping that I'm going to be sharing in the near future. Thanks. Bye.